All right, TM Nation, these are the newly released Skull Candy Sesh a and Active Earbuds that were announced a couple of weeks ago alongside two other pairs of earbuds under the active lineup, the Push Play Active Earbuds and the Push a and Active Earbuds. And I did do a video on the Push Play Actives already, so if you're interested in those earbuds, check that video out. But besides all of the active earbuds, I also do own all of the Sesh earbuds and the Sesh a and Actives are by far the most feature packed pair out of the bunch. However, another awesome thing about them is that they come in at $89.99, which is only 10 bucks more expensive than the Sesh a and earbuds that were certainly in need of an update as those earbuds are almost three years old. But for the highlights, the a and Actives provide up to 12 hours of use on a charge, three more than what you can get with the ANCs. The Actives also maintain compatibility with the Skull Candy app, but with them you get the addition of a personalized sound feature that will create a custom EQ that's based on your hearing. Also, as the Actives are geared towards exercise, they do get a bump in the water resistance too, as they are IP67 certified in comparison to the IP55 rating you get with the ANCs. Inside of the box with the Actives, you get your normal stuff, including the the user manual and other documentation, multiple pairs of different sized ear tips that you can swap out if needed, a USB type C cable for charging, and of course you'll get the case along with the earbuds. Now the design of the active case is different in the shape and size than what you get with any of the other Sesh earbuds. As you can see, it now has a small cord that you can clip to a carabiner or something of that nature. And although the dimensions are different in general, the case will still fit in any normal sized pocket without bulging out too much. Battery life wise, with the actives, you can get up to 48 hours of total use, including the case. And if you want to know what you'll get with the earbuds on a single charge, that's up to 12. Those numbers are going to be without using ANC. So if you choose to use this feature regularly, your numbers are going to be closer to seven on a charge. But it is worth noting that if battery life is your main concern, these do feature rapid charging that will give you up to two hours worth of use from only a 10 minute charge. The active earbuds are also designed completely differently than what you get with the older sessions that all have a L-shaped look. And I'm really not 100% sure that the new design is better for activity because they don't maintain the same ridges on the insides of the earbuds that you get with the older Sesh models. And over time, I found that the twist and lock motion with those pairs made them stay in place better for me, especially during exercise. Of course, I did test the actives out and they stayed in place well for the most part, but I definitely did get some slide from them once my ears started to sweat. If I had to estimate during my 30 minute workout, they never completely fell out of my ears, but I did have to reposition them about three or four times, which isn't bad for a pair of earbuds that do not have any ear hooks or wings. They also never malfunctioned on me while they were wet, as again, they are IP67 waterproof, so the audio never cut out on me, and the playback controls work completely fine, both wet and dry. Speaking on the playback controls, they're gonna be executed by touch with the actives, which is different than all of the other Sesh earbuds that use physical buttons, and pretty much where you wanna tap, is the Skull Candy logo on each earbud. And I do like the fact that you can customize the controls inside of the app to your liking to include everything from double tap to long press. For Bluetooth connection, the actives use 5.3 and I haven't experienced any noticeable latency watching YouTube videos or Amazon Prime movies on my iOS or Android devices, but they do also feature a low latency gaming mode. So if you are a hardcore mobile gamer that needs a near instant response, these have got you covered. Besides that, these do support multi-point connectivity and you also do get independent use with them too. So if you wanna use one earbud and leave the other in the case, they do have that capability. The call quality with the actives has also been impressive. I think they do a pretty good job at focusing on your speech and rejecting some of the noise going on around you, even if you're in a noisier environment. They do use the Clear Voice Smart Mic technology, which is what you'll get with the ANCs as well. But as always, I did take samples just so that you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. All right, guys, so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 15 Pro. And as you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming from the microphones on them. Right now, the room is relatively quiet, but I am gonna do my background noise test in just a moment. 
Give me a second. And now I have some simulated background noise playing in the background. And I'll go ahead and be quiet for just a moment so that you guys can judge how loud that noise is. And I'll go ahead and start talking again. So this part of the test is aimed at seeing how well the microphones on these earbuds can focus on my speech while rejecting some of that noise. For the app experience with the actives, you can see the charge left on each individual earbud, toggle on or off the adjustable ANC and transparency modes, access pre-built EQs, create your own, or take the sound test to have the software create an EQ optimized for your hearing. You can complete firmware updates when applicable, access the user manual on the go, and toggle on or off the low latency gaming mode as well. As for the ANC and transparency guys, I'll make it easy for you. These perform like a decent mid-tier pair of earbuds in both categories. It is a plus that both modes are adjustable, so you can choose the intensity of the cancellation or transparency, but don't expect Bose or Sony level performance in either category. They will do fine and be more than adequate for most people that simply want a decent pair of earbuds that will reduce sounds going on around them on a flight or other public transportation because they do an okay job with reducing engine noises and low buzzing and humming type tones. However, they don't do the best job with the dialogue. So if somebody's talking near you in a conversational tone and you have these in playing no music, you will likely hear them. I would also say that the transparency is passable. Using it, I was able to pick up what was going on around me within about a four foot radius, which is about average in comparison to other earbuds that I've tested around this price range. Now moving on and touching on the sound quality, these do come with three built-in EQs, which are music, podcast, and bass boost. I always create my own custom EQ, but if you don't like to do that, I would say that a good starting point is probably bass boosted mode, just because I think that out of the box, they are lacking on the low end. In bass boosted mode, the bass is stronger than I was expecting, but the overall clarity is bumped up as well. The sound signature that I get is bright, full, and clear. I can hear those background instruments fine, with the mids vocals come through clearly, so dialogue is easily audible, and the bass is nice and punchy too. Unlike the Dime 3 and Dime Evo earbuds that I did a video on a few days ago, there is for sure a noticeable difference in the sound quality between the ANC Actives and the Sesh ANCs. The Actives don't sound tinny or thin like what you can get with the ANCs at higher volumes, and the bass with the new pair is a lot more refined as well. Now, it may not blow you away if you like that subwoofer rattling type bass, but if you enjoy a punch and a light rumble to accentuate the low end in what you're listening to, these are certainly capable of doing that for you. The output is also good with the actives, but they don't have that extra loud notch that you are gonna want if you consider yourself to be a volume junkie. For me, I can listen to them at max volume and be comfortable most of the time, but for leisure listening in a quiet environment, 75% of the max volume is typically enough. Taking everything into consideration fam, the Sesh ANC Actives are the best pair of earbuds out of the Sesh lineup. They provide the best battery life, the best sound quality, especially with the personalize your sound feature. And I do like the new design language that Skullcandy is using for these, even though they don't stay planted in my ears as good as the older pairs when I'm doing heavy workouts. Now I do wish that they featured wireless charging with the case and auto pause and play, but who knows, maybe there's a pair of Sesh Fuel Active earbuds in the works. We kind of just gotta wait and see because nowadays you really can never tell what Skullcandy's coming with next. But one thing that you do know is that if they drop, I will have them and I'll probably be one of the first people to put a video out on them. So make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel so that you're not in the dark and you always know when new Skull Candy products drop. All in all though, for 89 bucks retail, I would pick the Actives over the other pairs of Sesh earbuds all day every day. As for only 10 bucks more than the ANCs, they provide quite a few upgrades, especially in the sound quality department. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.